Hey y'all, this is a slice of a meteorite that was formed when two asteroids smashed into each other. Let's learn a little bit more about it. So I want you to imagine you've got two asteroids flying out there in space. One of them is more silicates, it's more rock. You have another one that is more metal. We're talking about iron and nickel. These things are just minding their own business, then all of a sudden, smash. They come together, and that is how we believe we get mesosiderite meteorites like the one I'm showing you here. The process and result of this collision is called a brecciation. And to think about this, I like to imagine an Oreo cookie. You have the chocolate sandwich cookie part, and then you have the white creamy part, and they're separate parts of the entity. You can visually distinguish those. But if you take one of those cookies and just smash it up and rub it together in your hands, what you're left with is this kind of conglomerate mix of the dark chocolate and the white creamy parts all together and they're spread and they may be mixed in different formations but they're all kind of just there together and that's called a brecciation that's exactly what happens here with the rock and the metal in this mesosiderite and you might imagine it would take quite a bit of force to create something like this and you're absolutely right we're talking about two huge bodies in space smashing against each other that's a lot of force and particularly a lot of heat so you have this brecciation that occurs and in some cases these things are becoming uh, molten or in some sort of liquid or semi liquid state before they harden again that creates things like the meteorite you're seeing here i like this meteorite because it shows an example of the diverse brecciation that you can have when these two parent bodies collide you have some little flecks of metal throughout but then you also have some big globs in some places you even have what i believe in this case are some olivine crystals um, in a couple of places when we look at the zoomed in shots a lot of force a lot of heat space is really neat if you like learning about space through the lens of meteorites make sure to follow along i've got a lot more neat things to show you